Bugs, Fat Guy Flies RC here. We're out here at the Avon Park Field. We're going to be taking up Bigfoot. Errol's Bigfoot. We're going to try to do a little bit of uh, lower light flying. Okay, right, left, up, down, right, left. All right, I've flown this plane fairly recently, so I'm not going to worry about a range test at this time. I'm going to try to show a little bit of lower light flying versus worrying about your orientation. As you can see, I'm going off into the west here. So, and she is kind of bleeding in, but the lights really do help, of course. Um, the biggest thing, whenever you're doing lower light, you don't don't be so worried about doing tricks and everything unless you're just so completely confident with how the plane looks and the profile because that is something you'll have to consider is because um, now your vi your visual orientation is going to be different than what you may be used to in better lighting conditions so you have to pay attention to that and uh, how the plane looks you know pay attention to what you're doing how you're flying and your maneuvers that you take them now as you take them um, it's just some, something to consider whenever you're in low light because you know you're, you're now flying at a handicap whether you think you are or not you really are now the uh, this this today I'm flying Corsero's Bigfoot and uh, decided not to land. I'm running a 2700 milliamp three cell Hobby Star. Um, I want to say it's got a 35C discharge in her. All right, let's see if we can't do a little bit of. Wind is out of the northeast now. So, kind of just riding the wind right now. Got my flaps all the way down. Wind's about six to seven mile an hour, so it's, it's nice. It actually just feels good, to be honest with you. Straighten her up with a the runway there. There we go. Tail dragger. <laughs> Light, lighting conditions are getting better, so I feel a little bit better about how I can see her and I can tell what she's doing. But I'm keeping that one, and obviously when you fly your pattern, you know, you're flying a pattern, you're gonna keep that one wing obviously at you. And you know, you know, that coming at you, the right wing is gonna be the, have the red, the red light and the left wing is gonna have the green. So these are just, you know, these are points of orientation. Those lights are not just there for, or, or in, uh, not to be ornamental they do look cool yes but they do have a meaning and a focus and so they're important for you to use all right they are navigation lights after all all right scrappy 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 all right Lights really, really show up really well. All right. Remember, your landing is a lot has a lot awful lot to do with your throttle too.
All right. Throttle landing is not just a matter of, of cutting uh, the power and floating around. You know, you need to fly that plane in. Like I never land, I hardly ever land with just complete dead throttle. I want to have some forward. There, touch and go, a reckless one. <laughs> there, and a little bit of, a little bit of a knife edge here. Boy, that wind is being aggravating. It's more out of the north than it is out of the northeast so that makes a cross cross runway <laughs> all right all right there we go mr. scrappy that's a good looking plane you know and I, I gotta tell you, these Aeros planes, I'm just so impressed with the quality and, and the flyability, if, if that's a word. So, there you go, folks. That is a little bit of low light flying with this little bush plane here, Aeros Bigfoot or Mr. Scrappy, as I like to call it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and God bless.